Hey there guys, my name is JE4DE and I'm bringing you a Nexus Core 5 fan team commentary. In this game I'm playing as Caitlyn. I don't normally play as AD carries but I am in this game and hopefully there's a lot of room for me to improve. In this game I'm playing with Simple Rin who's going solo top as Nasus. Uh, Flipkey, he's supporting me as Tarek, and NC Cabot is playing as Oriana in the mid. We also have NC Death Barrage, he's our, he's our main jungler. And uh, in this game he decides to go jungle Shen. Not entirely sure why he's doing that. He's staying quite far away from the jungle invasion. But um, jungle Shen I've never seen before, and hopefully it's a very good it's a good <laughs> it's a good character so we are going for this jungle invasion then uh, Zillion goes straight in for a time bomb Vayne comes in with a couple of auto attacks I pulled over Peacemaker in there's a flash loads of exhaust stuns another flash an exhaust on Flipkey not really the one you want to exhaust but at level 1 anything happens well, if anything, we managed to pick up a rather nice blue from their team. That should slow down Shaco's progress and all that jazz. So we're heading back to our lanes right now. And the thing about Caitlyn that I learned, I learned it quite a while ago, but it's very, very important. Uh, it's farm. That's all you can do. And word of warning. Caution, spoiler alert, I'm going to say the word farm a lot in this game. Uh, we used to have a pretty good AD carry in Nexus Core, unfortunately he left recently, but the one thing that he really taught me was how important farming as the AD carry was. So right now I'm trying to clear out this mini wave as best as I can. I'm I'm not an AD carry at heart. Flipka goes in for a stun while Vayne tumbles away, but I'm too far away to do any significant damage onto Vayne. Zillion's their support, so not a lot of not a lot of sustainability coming from their support. Whereas seeing as Flipkey's mine, a lot of sustainability there. However, he does get burst down a lot by Vayne. I exhaust. One more auto attack would have done it. She dived into the brush, unfortunately. And I picked up the kill on her. That's a shame. I could have saved Flipkey if I tried. Um, I I did not feel good about that at all. But Zillion's left to defend a lane against um, an overleveling Caitlyn, which it is not a nice position to be. I've been on the reverse end of it multiple times before joining Nexus Core. I often played support champions. But uh, Zillion was one of my favourites just because of the time bomb damage and and the infinite time warp as soon as you had Archangel's staff. But uh, I've, there's been multiple times where I've been up against the Caitlyn with immense range and it's it's just horrible. For once, I managed to go. I managed to be on the other side of the gun, <laughs> literally. Haha. <laughs> Shaco's gone up to mid lane and not a lot's happening right now. It was not a successful gank. A yodel snap trap shows me exactly where Zillion is. Flip key goes in straight over the stun and once again I'm too far away for any significant auto attacks. So I'm shooting away at these minions, trying to farm as best as I can. Uh, Yordle snap trapping the brush, and I've got a nice amount of brush control. However, they have warded that end of the of their brush. The minions followed Flip K into the brush, so whether that's just minion aggro, I'm I'm not sure. Another stun on Vayne, and I should be able to get an auto attack off. There we go. It's not exactly a lot of damage, but I'll take it. Ah well. It's it's quite boring playing as the AD carry when minions aren't there. 
But as soon as they are there, you can just shoot away. Maybe one or two auto attacks on their AD carry, and everything's fun. I'd just like to apologise in advance for any coughs or sniffs or splutters that you hear during this during this commentary. I fought off an illness over the weekend, still not quite got rid of it, but anyway, this video must go out today. I get time bombed on my face, which is it's not nice, but I exchanged with the pills of Peacemaker to Vane's face, so I'll take it. I should get a couple of auto attacks, a headshot on Zillion as well. I'll take it. A couple more auto attacks, or at least I should. I should have hit that cannon minion. I just let it go. You can easily see that I'm not a good AD carry. I've I let my support die. I'm bleeding minions. However, I I do believe I've got a substantial, a substantially large more minion score than Vayne. Couple more headshots and auto attacks, and I should be shooting the turret right now. I don't know why I'm not, but I should be shooting that turret. I even get I got aggroed from shooting a Pelto Peacemaker. That turret could be down to half health by now, but oh well. Shako's coming along from mid lane right now, thanks to a Yordle snap trap and a nice ward set up by Flipke. We can see exactly where he is. I pulled over Peacemaker, but not exactly enough to kill the ward. However, Cabot managed to pick up a nice kill on Mordekaiser. Here we're having a quick look at minions right now. Uh, it's 35 to 27 in the mid lane. I have 28, while Vayne has 12. 12 by 7.5 minutes isn't exactly what you'd call brilliant AD carry. Uh, Death Barrage is possibly going for a blue here. Nah, never mind. Giving it to Cabot. Uh, he stunned a couple of auto attacks. Or at least I think that's what happened. Oh. But that cannon minion will be mine. There we go. And they have definitely watered that brush. The fighter minion has just followed Flipkey into the brush. Shaco's coming again, this time taking a different approach. He's warded there, so Flipke knows that he has to try and... Uh, he needs to get an oracle quite soon. Shaco deceives away past the dragon, possibly going up to mid lane. In fact, there he is, going up to mid lane. Someone very nicely pings him. Death Barrage is coming along right now. Shaco, in fact, deceives over the wall right into a rabid death barrage. Cabot's there with the ball of shielding. Mordekaiser possibly goes in for the kill, but not a lot's happening. In fact, death barrage just runs away scot free and kills some wolves. Yorick is actually pushing rather nicely in this game. He, I have to say, he outplays Simple Rin just a little bit. Anyway, along comes Vane, and she's dying. Uh, it takes a while, but she is. I'm a little bit mana starved right here, but I have enough for the ace in the hole. I I try to keep always keep enough mana for the ultimate, just in just for those emergency situations. So we're continuing to farm away right now here. Uh, Mordekaiser is trying to kill the turret in middle lane. Uh, unfortunately, he bags himself a free cabot. Evil Mordekaiser, you must be destroyed! Simple Ren's having a bit of a toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yorick in top lane. Yorick used his ultimate, but um, there's the version of Yorick again. Death Barrage uses his ultimate to come in and help out Simple Ren wherever he can. Simple Ren gets a kill. Yorick dies for a second time, and Simple Ren goes away completely free. Flipkey's recalling right now, and I haven't recalled yet. I don't know why. Ten minutes in, I really should have recalled by now. 
Uh, so, checking my media to score, 55 by 10 minutes. It's much better than Vane's 28. Simple Renters on 17 minions. That's not so good. Flipkey's on 0, which is always nice. However, their Zillion is on 6, which isn't great support wise. Yorick is farming quite nicely. He's on 52. At the moment, I'm out farming everyone, although. Granted, Vayne has a slight disadvantage on minion score. She probably brings it back with that first blood kill on Flipkey. So, Flipkey now has an Oracles and he's starting to go ward hunting. A easy 25 gold right there. Whilst placing another ward in the brush. That's not in the brush, it's in the river. Zillion may be recalling there, and I'm just farming away. Just have to. Not a lot more I can do, really. One, two, hopefully three, if I don't mess it up. Yes, I mess it up. I really am not supposed to play carry. I'm. If I'm going to play in the mid lane, in the bot lane, I really need to learn how to last hit. Jungling's fine because there aren't any of there aren't any blue minions trying to steal them from you. Those evil minions. But oh well, we saw Shaco in the bottom lane and he's come back to have a one on one against Flipkey. I'm coming around the corner now. Flipkey gets exhausted. Death Barrage he lunges in to get the to get the attention of Shaco. Shaco's deceiving all over the place. Cabot comes along, uses her ultimus as well. I come along with a Piltover Peacemaker, just managed to snatch... I managed to snatch uh, Zillion. And there was a quick cleanup on Shaco and Zillion. However, Mordekaiser came in. <laughs> he came in and got a double kill right there. One on Flip K, one on me. Cabot has to escape right now. Death Barrage lunges in. Thank you, Death Barrage. Your sacrifice will be noted. You saved the cabot, and for that we thank you. Oh, come on, Flip K, stop fighting for the other team. There we go. Everyone's back to normal now. I'm running across to bottom lane right now. And there's still a bit of action going along in the middle lane. Vayne and Mordekaiser are trying to kill the turret. Cabot needs to run away now. Mordekaiser's got a lot of aggro from turrets. Along comes Flipkey. He's probably going to stun them. Cabot is not in a good position right now. He gets hit by two abilities of Mordekaiser. However, Mordekaiser is now in the bad position, and Cabot gets her revenge with a good kill. I use my ace in the hole on Vayne, but... Unfortunately, not enough damage to burst her down. Pulse over Peacemaker steals all those minions from Cabot. And we found ourselves a Shaco. Shaco gets stunned, Shaco gets bald, Shaco gets shot, and Shaco runs away. Of course. Why would you not run away as a Shaco? So, right now we're trying to get the first dragon of the match. It's 14 minutes in. We could have got it earlier, but uh, we just really haven't had the opportunity. All four of us make short work of the dragon. Death Barrage finishes up with his smite. And a nice minion wave in the bottom. So, time for me to farm. I... That wasn't a very good Piltover Peacemaker by me. I could have done so much better with it. But I managed to kill that one under the turret. I don't know how I did that, but I'll take it. Flipkey clairvoyance the brush, just to make sure that the Zellion wasn't there by, I'm assuming. But that's one, two, uh, three, four. Four out of six minions. Not exactly great. Uh, oh, Shaco and his boxes. So annoying. Very, very, very annoying stuff. But Vane's coming along right now, keeping me away from her turret. It's an evil